So for our 5030 project for electronic bioinstrumentation, we did a safe way of doing of measuring someone's heart rate, heartbeat. And so what we have is we have these uh, conductors, which Sean will put his hand on, and then I'll measure your heart rate. And then through there, it goes first through the hardware, which has the conditioning stage, which is basically first there's capacitors, so it's DC isolation, and then also there's resistors, which limit the current that runs through it. And then it goes through its first gain stage, which we have as 51. And so it goes through that, and then once we go through the gain stage, we also go through another filter and gain stage. Um, and then there it goes through digital filter. So there's a, so then it goes into the NIDAC and then into MATLAB where it, for, for processing. Yeah, so and overall the gain in this whole circuit, um, it's around... Um, 51 times 25. So it's a little like 1,250. Um, okay. And that's just because we're using dry okay. contacts, so, now, so it's hard to get a strong signal. So, so now you're, you're, you just grabbed onto the yeah, electrodes. Yeah, so that's just one in each end. And you're getting a... Uh, and that's with no, good no, QRS. Digital, no digital filtering. No, no digital filtering, just the analog That's filtering. Just the and you're just, just hardware. And you're just, and you're just holding on to these two big yeah. chrome it's electrodes. It's uh, chrome plated brass. Chrome plated brass. With screws. But it could be stainless steel. End. Yeah, any yeah. any conductor would work. And 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 because it's because it's capacitor isolated and, and resistor isolated, you figured it would take something like a hundred thousand yeah, volts. Yes, so we did uh, the math on the on the circuit, and because it goes. Um, through the capacitors, you need an AC to even hurt yourself, and that and then it goes to ground through a one mega ohm resistor. So you need around a hundred thousand volts of AC current to kill you, and you need a uh, thousand volts of AC current to even be able to feel any sensation at all. So even if you were shorted across a hundred and ten line, you'd still be in order of magnitude. You, you wouldn't vocal. even feel it. Okay, good. Um, all right. So next, once it. So as you could see, we got a signal um, just out of hardware. So the next step was to take it through the NIDAC and into MATLAB, where we did. Um, we made a GUI that does a couple things. One, it um, it plots um, the waveform as well as the Pan Tompkins algorithm, the output of that, which we use to to find the beats and use that to determine heart rate. So I'll run that, and we can kind of show you how it works. So first, right at the start, um, it gives you, this is without any adjustment at all. You can see the red is the, the ECG and the blue is the output of the Pan Tompkins. And then the little tealy line you see is the, the settable threshold. Um, and that's what we use to determine the beats. So if we fiddle with it a little bit, um, you can adjust a couple things. One is the Y range, so we can zoom in. Um, the other, we can raise and lower the threshold. And as you can see, all the, all the buttons um, react pretty much instantaneously. The teal is really hard to see, probably even harder on the camera. But, so I'll set that. Oh, okay, I see it now. And then, this one right so here. we can fiddle with the high pass. And then, so I'm going to put my hands back on it so we can actually see a signal. And then Crystal's going to control the settings cause, so you can see the effect they have. Okay, so you've got a, you've got a very nice, uh, and the Pan Tompkins now waveform is That's is a measure blue. of the of the energy of the first derivative. Yeah. So basically, what it does is taking the red signal, it's squaring it, and then it's um, convolving it with a rectangle, um, and then that's the result. So if let's see. so you're reading about 70 beats per minute right now. Yeah. So if you look at the the one on the left there, that's changing. That's the most recent um, heartbeat. And then the top one is time. And the one on the bottom right is supposed to be your average heart rate, but it looks like it got kicked up to 151 during all the fidgeting. So if, uh, yeah, you can hit quit or otherwise it crashes. Yeah, but okay, so now adjust the, those, yeah. So if it, if it gets kicked up to 151 or something bad happens, it can sometimes get stuck. Um, because it it's running, uh, it it looks at the previous beats, and if it changes too fast, oh. then it then it won't recognize a new beat. Um, you might but you're, but you're getting zoom but you're in getting and, a good and, solid 82 right now. Yeah. Okay. And then so that'll be pretty robust. So if I fidget a little bit and it'll it'll like miss a beat or have some extra beats right there, mm -hmm. I let these go and then and then re grab. 
it'll it'll lock back onto it pretty quickly. I see. Okay. So it'll remember it'll remember what was happening before, and so, it'll ignore the bad so, beats. So there's, so there's so there's some hysteresis in there uh, in the in the beat detection. There's also a yeah the, the detection heart, scheme for the for, heart rate is is an average over your last twenty. Um, what we call valid beats and basically they're valid because if say you're beating at around 80 and all of a sudden um, you miss a beat and you get a double interval and it's going to say oh that heartbeat was t uh, 40 it's going to look and say that's way too far off from what it had been we're going to it's going to toss that out and not and not uh, use it to determine anything okay um, and then one last interesting feature that we implemented was kind of so say you're you are like going along and you see something that you want to look at more closely you can pause it and then take you know take a look at, at whatever you want to see and then at any time it's continuing to track your data and measure your heart rate and then you can run it and it'll pick back up at your current wherever your heart is beating currently so it's not losing data while it's paused no, right because oh, the cool. time keeps moving when it's All right. paused so like the time still oh i see it yes right i see that yeah nice so that's it.